Once your DVR is connected to power and is on, click on the right mouse button to call up the menu functions and select System. Once you're in the System menu, click on the Event icon and you will see the page on the screen. Then click on Motion on the left hand side of the page. Next, you need to select the camera or the channel for which motion needs to be applied to. Note that motion can be set up for one camera or one channel at a time. Next, you need to make sure the box labeled Enable is checked. This activates the camera to record when motion occurs. If this box is not checked, the camera will not pick up motion. If you wish to have a log keeping records of all motions detected, you should check the box labeled Log. The pre-alarm record option enables the camera to record video 5 seconds before the motion event occurs. It is recommended that you check this box to enable pre-alarm recording. Sometimes we monitor areas where there's constant background movements that we don't really care about, and we just want to be notified for the foreground motions. In these scenarios, the edit motion grid can be further set up to fit each different scenario and need. Once you click on the Edit Motion Grid button, this sub-window will appear on the screen. The grid area that is highlighted in green is the region that the camera will pick up for motion. Any area of the grid that is not in green, the camera will not pick up for motion. Now as you can see, the picture on the screen is entirely selected for motion detection. If you click on the Clear All button on the left-hand side, it will deselect the entire picture. Now you can use the mouse to click on individual boxes to highlight the motion detection area, or you can click on the Select All button to select the entire picture for motion detection. The next thing you want to set up is sensitivity. Sensitivity will determine how easily the camera will pick up motion. An object that is far away will require higher sensitivity value, whereas an object that is closer to the camera will require a lower sensitivity value. A value of 10 is high sensitivity, and a value of 1 is the lowest sensitivity. Once everything is set up and configured to your needs, click on the Back button on the top right-hand corner to save the changes and go back to the previous menu. Remember to click Save to save all the settings and configurations for the current camera or channel. If you wish to copy the same settings and configurations to other cameras, you can use the Apply To button. By clicking on the button, you will see a pop-up window like the one you see on the screen right now. Then you can select which camera or cameras you want to apply the same settings to. If this option is chosen, it must be noted that motion sensitivity that applies to one camera may not be the right settings for other cameras. Now that your motion setting is complete, right-click the mouse or the Return button at the top right-hand corner and it will bring you back to the main Live View screen. Now, when a camera picks up motion, a Running Man symbol will be visible on the screen. Thank you for watching. 
remember to check out our other how-to videos through the EverFocus website or YouTube channel.